Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says control of the Senate could go in either direction this November. One America's Stephanie Myers takes a look at one of the Senate races both parties are keeping a close eye on. Colorado is known for its Rocky Mountains, and it looks to be a rocky road for GOP Senator Cory Gardner in his re-election as he faces former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper. Gardner was first elected to the Senate in 2014 after defeating then-Democrat incumbent Mark Udall by less than two percentage points. Hickenlooper unsuccessfully ran for the White House before dropping out of the race last year and announcing his run for the Senate. Even though Hickenlooper already has name recognition for serving as governor between 2011 and 2019, he's attempting to sway voters by highlighting Gardner's relationship with President Trump. I don't think Cory Gardner understands that the games he's playing with Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell are hurting the people of Colorado. However, Senator Gardner made headlines for working across the aisle as a lead sponsor of the bipartisan Great American Outdoors Act. President Trump signed the act into law in early August, which provides $900 million a year in guaranteed funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund. This bill will create 100,000 jobs, uh, several thousand in my home state of Colorado. It will protect the Forest Service, our Fish and Wildlife uh, Service, our, our wildlife refuges, our BLM grounds. Meantime, Hickenlooper has come under fire for a series of remarks he made six years ago that have recently resurfaced. If, if I was to describe a, a, a scheduler, a political scheduler, imagine a, a, an ancient slave ship <laughs> with, with, with the guy with the whip and you're rowing. We elected officials are the ones that are rowing and, and they have nothing but hard, often thankless things to do. And to boot, the Centennial State's Independent Ethics Commission fined Hickenlooper for violating state ethics laws by accepting private flights and limousine trips as governor. The National Republican Senatorial Committee already reserved $6.4 million in television ads blasting Hickenlooper. You've seen the stories. Guilty of ethics violations. In contempt. Guilty. Now, more reports of corruption. Millions of dollars in private donations to the office of then-Governor John Hickenlooper. Special interests with special influence. Some foundations tell us they paid for policy positions in the governor's office. The Cook Political Index shows Colorado as a toss-up state. However, Senator Gardner could garner more votes in his re-election bid by urging Republican residents to make their voices heard come November. Stephanie Myers, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.